How many people on Snapchat and Instagram can you call your real friends? One or two? Maybe none? So then why do you sell the app? It's just kept you scrolling for countless hours. You haven't gotten anything done. Your mental health is shit. What's the point? I remember when I took the first step to deleting Snapchat and it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy doing Snapchat. All my friends were using Snapchat. I was talking to like multiple girls on Snapchat, but I just don't, didn't care. I didn't want it anymore because like none of those people were my true friends. Snapchat like just left me super drained throughout the day because I was waiting for certain people to respond when they just leave me undelivered for eight hours. But I'd constantly keep on texting them because I still thought I had a chance. And when I finally did delete it, I'd re-download it over and over again. And it it sucked. I felt like I was in jail. It was genuinely an, addic an addiction. But when I finally did delete the apps, the benefits were way better. I felt way better than I did when I did have the apps, like Instagram and Snapchat. And the best of them all was my mental health was at its best. So let's talk about why you need to delete social medias. Social media, is, this is a known fact that social media is, is made to keep you hooked. If you delete social media, you'll have a lot more time. You'll be doing more productive things and your mental health, as I said, will be way better because you won't be comparing yourself to these people when you scroll through TikTok and Instagram. You won't be seeing that guy who has a six pack who's been working out for three years and you can't help but compare yourself to him. You'll be seeing him. You'll be seeing yourself on a daily basis and, and comparing yourself to yourself and seeing how you could be better. And that's the best case scenario because if you, any progress is progress. Remember that any progress is progress, but if you keep on comparing yourself to people on social media, you're never going to be happy with yourself. You're never going to be happy with yourself. That's how I was when I started going to the gym. I would go on, I would go on Instagram, see these people who are working out, same age as me, better looking, taller, bigger, and feel nothing but shame in myself and insecurity. But I was making good progress in the gym. There's a, there's a quote. It's like comparison is the killer of happiness. And that's so true. Because when you are on social media and you're comparing yourself to people, you're comparing yourself to that guy over there, you're never gonna be happy with yourself. You're gonna wanna be at his level. You're gonna want the next best thing. And I think this is called body dysmorphia as well. But yeah, I went oh, through that a lot. And a big part of that was social media. But when I finally took a step back from that, I was finally happy with my progress. I'd gained like 10 pounds looking at my before and after pictures and I was just genuinely happy with my progress and yeah and I believe this was because I deleted social media and I finally took the initiative in my life rather than spending countless hours scrolling on TikTok and consuming all this content about improving my life when I wasn't improving my life. You're in the same boat where like you feel like social media is just useless to you. You don't want you want to delete social media but you can't because you have friends, you, maybe you're talking to some girl, all your friends have social media, everyone's using it. Like I'm a six year old yesterday was using social media and social media is here to stay. But trust me, just the first step is always the hardest. Just deleting the app and having it deleted for a week is the hardest part. But once you get past that hurdle, it's going to be amazing. Because let's, let's go over, let's go over social media right now. Like let's go over your life. So. You have friends, you have, if you're saying you have hella friends on Snapchat and you don't want to delete that. As I said in the beginning, how many of those people are your actual friends? One or two? So then why do you still have it? But when you delete it, you only have like those one or two people on your phone who you can spend more time talking to because those are your genuine friends and you'll have more time for your family and you'll, you'll have more time for gym. Once you delete social media, trust me, you will, won't look back. Oh, maybe you might have that like one instance where there was this one party that like was on someone's story, but you don't even want to go to that party anyway. You know, people are questioning you. That's the, I feel like that's the only thing that's going to be bad. This is the only thing that will, you'll, um, that's bad from building social media is that people will look at you weirdly, but that's good because you don't like those people anyway. So save your mental health, be better because social media isn't helping, helping your mental health. Maybe there's that one friend who has social media, who has the best mental health in the world, but if you're watching this video, then you most likely aren't that person. 
And I'm most certainly ain't not that person either. But trust me, it only gets better when you delete social media.